Remember that feeling you had taking the stage in your first school play or that first speech in front of the whole class? That self-conscious feeling that everyone is judging you by the way you look, talk, or even hold your hands. Well, tonight, meet four people who decided to step way outside their comfort zone, determined to put their abilities in the spotlight. They realized at about two that I had cerebral palsy just because, I mean, I would walk, but I would never let go of anything. So I was walking around the coffee table, just not letting go. Abby Curran's mother decided very early not to focus on what she couldn't do. We have rugs all over our house and she never moved them. I would trip and fall with a rug all the time. And instead of saying, she'd say, pick up your feet. So she taught, I think my parents taught me to be more independent and realize that, you know, we all have challenges. That determination, that independence would propel her to push past so-called limitations. By high school, she asked, why can't I compete to be the next Henry County Fair Queen? The answers surprised her. Instead of being encouraged, everyone kept telling me, you can't do this, you shouldn't do this. And so I set out to prove them wrong. In a perfect ending, she would have won, but she did not. I, you know, went and competed at the fair year after year after year and lost. And, and so I'm, I'm definitely a professional loser and know what it feels like. But then because of that, I know how great it feels to, you know, win something. And she wanted others to feel that way too. So in 2004, she started her own pageant. Miss, you can do it pageant. Who hasn't? tripped and fallen and so just staying at home and being afraid to go out there and achieve our dreams is kind of ridiculous so miss you can do it is about pushing these girls to try something new inspiring girls like Michaela who has participated for the past eight years there's not a lot of pageants out there that are for people girls like me who have disabilities so it's a chance for us to get to branch out and do stuff that quote unquote normal people get to do on a daily basis. And Lindsay. We get to hang out with girls and get to dress up. Who has been on the stage twice. I know we have disabilities, but we can do it no matter what. And five-year-old Sydney, who has limited verbal skills, but when her mother showed her the pageant website. She pointed at him and said, like me, like me. <sighs> like them, she is looking forward to being part of something so special. Give it up. being around such inspiring people. I just want uh, somebody older for her to look up to with the same similar disability to be able to say, I can do that. I can do anything. Three girls ready to shine in the spotlight, just like their mentor, Abby, who, by the way, kept competing too. In college, I got a flyer for Miss Iowa USA. With the self-proclaimed professional loser, dare to be part of the Miss Iowa USA pageant. Miss Iowa USA 2008 is Abby Curran. I competed and ended up winning, and I still am the only woman with a disability to ever make it to Miss USA. She stumbled there too, but just kept going, showing that what some would call a weakness is really a show of incredible strength that a disability really just highlights her abilities. And a lot of my contestants have went on then to try out for, you know, the high school cheerleading team or dance squad, even though they assumed that they weren't 100% capable of doing those flip-flops and the splits. Go out there and try it, and, you know, you might be the biggest smiler instead of the highest jumper. You're the Little Miss Queen! Maybe that's the perfect ending we were looking for. Wow, what a moment. By the way, if you know someone who you think should sign up or want to support the organization by buying tickets for the summer event at the Adler or make donations, go to the Miss You Can Do It website. And remember, share your inspiring stories with me via Facebook or email. And tomorrow afternoon at 1.30, Abby will be joining me for a Facebook Live event on the KWQC page. Join us with your questions and comments. That's tomorrow at 1.30.